All right, guys, welcome back. And today's topic is going to be a kick surf. We're going to give you all the important elements that you need to get a perfect kick surf. How many of you have tried already to get it and you had trouble? So today we're going to give you all the important elements. We're going to give you the problems that people have, how to solve them, and all in this video. And also we're going to go, going to give you a pathway in order to improve your kick surf forever. You can use it and you can just get it better and better every time. Now. Before we jump into this video, please make sure to take a second to go on Instagram and follow our videos, all behind the scenes, all the fun stuff we have, uh, all the jokes we make and other stuff also on Instagram, we post almost every day. So you guys go there and check it out and put hearts on it or likes or whatever, thumbs up and uh, we'll see you there. All right guys, so uh, so many times we have people coming out and they try to work on the, on the kick serve and they are struggling. So we're going to give you all the important things that you need to know no matter what type of serve you have, uh, whether you have a different technique, you're your partner or whatnot, but we're going to give you all the important elements that you need. So number one, make sure you have an appropriate grip. A lot of people come out with a forehand grip, they start hitting serves and they're wondering why I cannot hit a kick serve. Get rid of a forehand grip, pancake grip. If you say, no, I, I really like it, really, just get a continental grip or even towards one hand and back hand. Uh, that's going to give you a lot more kick serve. If you're starting switching from the pancake grip, I wouldn't suggest to go all the way to continental. Make sure you go one step at a time and each day just keep turning your grip a little bit until you get the continental grip or towards your forehand grip because at the beginning it might be a little bit too challenging. All right, another thing, make sure you work on your stance a lot. And no matter if you're bringing your right foot forward or you're staying and you're not moving your feet, make sure you're staying sideways. A lot of people tend to, especially the ones that bring their foot forward, whether they're sliding on bringing it forward, they tend to go a little bit to the side, as you can see, which is going to open them up and it makes the ball slide a little bit. So you're going to hit a lot of slide serves instead of kick serve. And you wonder why I cannot hit a kick serve. All right, so make sure you always get sideways. When you're bringing, it has to stay, one foot has to stay behind another to keep your sideways so you can get actual kick serve. Now, the other thing that we find a lot of players, when they start bringing their racket up, they tend to drop their racket behind before they get in the trophy position, which decelerates the racket. They don't get enough racket speed at the point of contact. And even if they get a rotation on the ball, the ball is really, really soft and doesn't move to the side of the court. It stays up where your opponent can step in and just crush the ball. So you certainly don't want to do that. So let's go back again. We got to get, make sure we have a nice grip. We want to make sure we have a nice stance. We're always sideways on the serve. And also we get into a trophy position or we have a delayed swing when the racket slowly comes up. So we got those three elements right. Practice that, get done. We're moving on to the next step, and which is getting the, uh, with the point of contact. So what do we do at the point of contact? A lot of people try to get a rotation and mostly getting sliced because you guys hit the ball on outside. So when you hit the serve, you see this. So the ball doesn't kick to the side, it goes, it keeps moving to the forehand. So you're trying to get to the back end of your opponent, all of a sudden your opponent runs around, rips the return. So now, what are you supposed to do? You want to make sure you keep the ball a little bit lower. So let's say if this is a flat serve, your arms extend, of course, we're talking about the point of contact. So this is the flat serve, a little bit with the, you hit on the outside of the ball for the slice. The kick serve is going to be just a little bit lower, just a little bit. See, this is the angle of the racket. And you're going to go up and then out to the side. So your, your swing goes a little bit to the side. Now, a lot of people, when they do it, they tend to slow down the racket aspect. A lot of people use kick serve as a second serve, and what happens, they start slowing down the racket at speed, thinking, oh, yeah, I gotta be consistent, it's my second serve, and they start missing those serves, or the serves have no pace whatsoever, and need a rotation. So, in order to generate nice kick serve, you wanna make sure you're accelerating your racket to generate that kick serve that is gonna move to the side of the court. Now you're gonna be like, yeah, but it's so much risk if I'm accelerating my racket, then the ball's gonna fly out. But trust me, more racket has at the point of contact. If you maximize your racket has the ball's gonna stay in your strings longer. It's gonna uh, use more strings on your racket, which is gonna generate more rotation on the ball. And that's what you need on your second serve. So we got, we got that part. Now let's talk about the toss. Toss is gonna be really, really important because if you guys toss the ball too much to the right, you won't be able to get motion out and if you do the ball is going to go to the side fence so a lot of times you guys are going to be slicing the ball 
If you toss the ball in front of you, yes, it is a possibility to get a kick serve. If you're a good player, if you're 5 over one plus, you can get out and, you know, get low and get the to uh, kick serve out of that toss. But if you're starting like a 2-5, 3-0, 3-5 or whatnot, I would suggest to toss the ball a little bit to the side, to the left. Just start with that. It will help you out to get more kick serve. Of course, better players are going to start reading it, but as you're improving, you'll be able to shift the toss just a little more in front. Uh, and make sure your opponent doesn't know what type of serve you're doing. So, we got part with the stance sideways, make sure you got the right grip, make sure you get to trough position or delayed swing, you're not dropping your racket back, uh, make sure you're accelerating your racket, you're swinging up and out, and also, uh, on top of that, the toss has to be slightly to the left or right in front, that's if you're a really advanced player. So we got those points, very, very important, Practice those things, it's amazing results that you can get. Oh yeah. Woo! What a kick. All right, guys, if you want to have a kick serve that you just saw before, you need a set of drills that are going to take you from day one to the last day when you're going to improve your kick serve, and we're going to give it to you. In the link below, we have a kick serve challenge. It's a 15-day challenge where you're going to have to start with a certain type of drills that we're giving you. It's proven that those drills work, and they're going to be designed for you from day one to day two to day three to day 15 to improve your kick serve. Do not hesitate. Don't take any other second. If you want to improve your game, Go on the link below, make sure you sign up right now.